Hey guys, I'm Eric. This is Kansas City Comic Con, and you're watching Notes and Nerds. I'm standing here with the ever so lovely Lee Merriweather. Oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> if you're not familiar with who she is, shame on you. Go watch something else. She was one of the best cat women ever. She was the cat woman for so many of us in the 66 era Batman. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's a little chilly here. It is a little cold, and unfortunately, <laughs> yes. it's wintertime almost here in Kansas. So, it, yeah. Welcome to Kansas weather. <laughs> Doesn't know what it wants to do. So, what's it like? I mean, I also know you've been on a couple episodes of Star Trek from time to time. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, just one. Just one? Mm -hmm. Yes. That the best which, one. <laughs> that which survives. Ah. I played Locera, commander of the Calandrans. Okay. And I was actually uh, an image that the computer that I had left on the planet mm -hmm. was able to use to repel borders because... Uh, I was already dead probably 100 years, 200, 500 years later, mm -hmm. earlier. So, but uh, it was fun to play a, <laughs> a character that was just there. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And Star Trek is such an, another iconic show. Mm -hmm. You know, being part of that, I'm sure, is just one of those wonderful things that, you know, you could sit back and remember doing and just mm -hmm. knowing you were there, an icon. I had so, fun. What was it like being Catwoman? Oh. I was I was so thrilled. I I um, I was positive my agent had made a mistake because I knew that Julie Newmar was mm -hmm. Catwoman, and he said no 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 she's she's making a movie and uh, they they are auditioning a whole bunch of people, and so I went and I. Uh, so please I auditioned. tell me about the audition. Uh, well, I was scared to death. <laughs> I walked into uh, the room prior to the audition mm -hmm. and here were at least a hundred beautiful women all made up and everything and I thought oh good grief what a oh I'm not well here's another job I won't get and I <laughs> then I was called in to read and uh, they uh, said um, you've you've received the the scene that we want you to read. And I said, yes, I did. Thank you very much. And um, and then I, I luckily grew up with cats all around me and doing this very easily while I was reading and playing the part. I just did this and, and I did a little bit of kneading of my lap mm -hmm. and, uh, and made it an occasional and that sort of thing and and, and um, then they they said we do uh, can you do a, a Russian accent and I said I'm, but I'm quite sure if I had the time I could uh, do a very good uh, accent but not too, too heavy but you know something like that yeah and, so, um, and then they said well thank you and thank you and I said, thank you. And I walked out, but as I left, I heard, you know, I didn't tell her to do any of that. And so I said, oh, maybe there's hope, maybe there's hope. <laughs> By the time I got home, uh, my agent called, and I called, I mean, had called, mm -hmm. and I, uh, then I called him back, and he said, you got the part. Wow. That's how it was, just that fast. It's just that little extra that you put mm -hmm. into the re, uh, that little rehearsal type uh, audition right. that just said, mm -hmm. there's our Catwoman. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. What was one of your favorite episodes? Well, this was my, I was not in the series. Mm -hmm. I was, oh, I did one show in the series, but it was after uh, I had already, they asked me to be Catwoman mm -hmm. in the series. But I was already signed to do Time Tunnel. So that was, like, but they said, we have a script and it will be done in two weeks. Can she be released for a week after that? Mm -hmm. And they said, and I said, please, can I, 
And they said, yeah, sure. You know, we, we can work around you. Wow. <laughs> Which doesn't mean that you're, you know, really uh, yeah. you know, something valuable. You're just, oh, yeah, we'll, we won't work around you. But it was, it was they, they really wanted me to do it. And uh, so I did one episode where I played a very spoiled socialite who was dating Bruce Wayne and dressed uh, for a costume ball as Cleopatra and he was Mark Anthony. Mm -hmm. And guess who kidnapped me? King Tut. I, re I think I remember <laughs> that episode because they didn't use the King Tut character too often, no, if I remember correctly. So yeah. yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> what was it like working with Adam West? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Adam was an amazing actor. I mean, if you, I mean, it, it's fashioned after a cartoon, mm -hmm. and which is not bad. Oh. I mean, but it's, but it, he, he was such a good actor that that fine line of reality farce and went to there, just between reality and. He skated that farce. thin line yeah. yes. well. And really magnificent because it could have been super silly it could have been anything else but he he was really an honest actor i had seen him uh, after we did the movie i went to see him in a play and he was brilliant he was brilliant nothing at all like his character you know i mean it, he was an actor mm -hmm. and he could play any number of roles but uh he was so good, and I was so glad that I got a chance to tell him how really wonderful he was. And uh, and he said, uh, "Well, I didn't get to climb down a rope or anything like that." <laughs> I said, "Of course, of course, no, no, I know." No. So. Uh, well. Thank you very much for being on the, my episode here of Notes and Nerds. Oh. It's been an absolute pleasure of mine to have you here. Because like oh. I said, you were one of my you were my favorite Catwoman as a child <laughs> and still rank up there as my top Catwoman, even with all the other wonderful actresses that have played her as well. So Oh, I love him. Oh, wow. Well that's good. That's good. Cat good. scratch fever. <laughs> 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 well, again, thank you very much. You have a wonderful weekend here at Kansas City Comic Con. And guys, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, remember, if you want to help support Notes and Nerds, please go to patreon.com slash notes and nerds. Also, please check out all of our social medias on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube slash notes and nerds. And also, as always, our website at www.notesandnerds.com.